He's not able to talk about why he wasn't tough enough on China when he should have, and he allowed fentanyl to come through and them steal our intellectual property and build up our military. He's not talking about the fact that he put us $8 trillion in debt over four years, and we're digging out of it, unable to figure out how we're going to pay that now. He's not talking about the fact that he didn't stop the fentanyl flow that's affected this state and all over the country when he had the opportunity to do it. He's not talking about why did he go and praise President Xi a dozen dozen times after they gave us COVID. Why would you do that? There are a lot of things he doesn't want to answer. One of the interesting things is Nikki Haley was there and enabling a lot of those different things. <laughs> she was the ambassador to the UN for Trump while he was doing many of those things. And she said nothing and enabled it to continue, including the stuff related to China and President Xi. 